Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Evan Better Presents, Prison Architect Alpha 27. And here we are with our alcoholics group therapy going on. It's uh they're 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 getting there. They're learning, they're trying to trying to prevent themselves from being trouble troublesome and criminals and all that good stuff. Let's see how things go. I don't really have much faith in them. I don't think they're gonna make it. A lot, as you can see here, the pass rate is 22%. We've had 235 guys do alcoholics group therapy with only 22%. What's this one? Pharmacological, uh, pharmacological treatment of drug addiction, 79% pass rate. That's considerably better. Which makes me believe that to try and deal with our alcoholic issues here, we're going to add another couple of beds in here. Oh, crap. Won't be able to get through that door. What if I just put it right next to it? Damn. That's gonna be a problem for you there. Oh well. We'll just have to live with it. You wanna be that kind of guy? I'll put you in the high sec. You wanna be that guy? That's fine with me. There we go. Search all that. Now remember, the only way you can really keep... This is the uh, micromanaging of your prison that you have to do. The only way you can really, really keep contraband out is if you search every single thing that comes into the door. Metal detectors, dogs, that's not going to cut it. It isn't going to be enough. You quite literally have to search everything. If you don't search everything, you will not be able to keep it all out simple. It's as simple as that, guys. It's as simple as that. You can do your best, but you won't, you'll never keep it up. All right, so one of the things I said I was going to do this episode is a full prison shakedown during the episode. We're going to allow a full prison shakedown to happen. That is going to tie up our guards doing the shakedown, which means there should be a higher chance of crime and stuff going on. Because every single item, as you can see, there are 200 and, uh, 2,325 places there could be an item. Because every single item has to be searched. This is going to take, oh my god, the entire episode. So we're going to put this on fast forward as well. Even stupid things like these pipes get searched. Which makes no sense because contraband cannot be smuggled in them. So way to screw that up, introversion. Shouldn't have done that. Now it's going to be a big waste of time. These pots of food. There is no contraband in pots of food. Not ever. Why are they being searched? All it does is waste time. These stacks of food trays. There is never contraband in them. Why are they being searched? It's simply a waste of time. You take that stuff out and you're going to be able to reduce a lot of the searching. Okay, so all that stuff's been searched. Not that stuff though. There we go. This way we can at least try to keep all the serious contraband out. How are they coming on the pipes? <clears throat> They're coming. It's getting there. To build this last section is probably going to be about $120,000, I would guess, if I had to guess. Let's see what uh, kind of money we got in our prison here. So let's see finance. <clears throat> Tax rate is down to 1% because I did the offshore tax discount. Remember that? Exports has gone up nicely. That's always good. We do have a lot, a lot of money coming in. These two will never, ever be completed, unfortunately, especially this one. This is never going to get completed. This one just... I think the only way you can ever really hope to have this happen is by blind luck. I mean, look, have five prisoners passed the general education course? None. None have done that. And it's not like I'm not trying. Look at this. Uh, foundation education. There have been 20 that have passed it. 20. I still keep one classroom open for this general education. No one does it. I can't do anything about that. It's just stupid. 
stupid, stupid, stupid how few people actually do that. It's annoying. Um, we looked over this stuff last time. You know, there's nothing new there. Needs for food are going down because it is probably lunchtime for a few of these guys. Yeah, for the normal set guys. They're all get, getting their meals in. Family, exercise, recreation. Again, not much I can do about that. It's just going to be when they have their free time, they can do it. When they're on work and they don't have a job, they can do it. It's up to them to take care of those ones. Their hygiene, I force them to have showers every morning. That one's on me. Uh, freedom, obviously, that involves things like being able to go outside which isn't something they're going to get to do. But that includes things like going in the yard. When they go to yard, I could force a yard time on these guys, but yard time is really pointless. When they want to go to the yard, they'll go to the yard. When you force them to the yard, they don't generally do anything with it. Uh, they get their freedom during that point. That's their free time decision. Assigning a yard time is stupid. All you're doing is really creating a powder keg where everybody is in the same place at the same time. Uh, meal variety and stuff is, it's manageable at the point, at this point here. I don't want to increase that or decrease that. Everyone's getting fed. Everything's getting taken care of. There's no point in screwing around with that. We've looked at programs, finance. Let's see the valuation here. Okay, how much do we need to have to buy back some shares? All right. No recent deaths. I need to have that. Well, we do, it's not not important yet. We want to buy back all of our shares before we finish this series because we're going to sell the prison, right, for the money. Yeah. Yeah. See, we want to be able to get back 100% of our shares at some point here, but we need to make sure there's no deaths, which I think is a strange, strange reason. All right, so it's almost the last two hours of free time for those guys. You guys should be in lockup now. Um, <clears throat> there is there is, there has to be some conditions for these guys. You know what I mean? Supermax has grown. So remember last episode, I gave them all a work schedule. Well, we're halfway done on this search. More than halfway done. It's really just down to the prisoners now, I guess. Have they finished the pipes yet? Looks like they may have just finished the pipes, which means we can start cloning and getting some cells in here. I don't know how many cells this is going to work out to be. It's going to be less than another hundred, but it's going to be a considerable increase in what we do have at the moment. <clears throat> we're not we're not even anywhere close to our maximum capacity in this joint, so we don't have anything to worry about for a while still. There's a lot of trucks picking up garbage. I'm assuming garbage and exports. Yeah. Search is almost done. We're down to uh, the last 200 items. Or I should say people. Who need to be searched. And you can see some of the contraband we've got here. That's pretty uh, That's pretty indicative considering it's very low amounts. We just did a search of the entire prison and the contraband's pretty low. That is uh, directly indicative of the fact that I have been, you know, absolutely religious on trying to keep contraband out of my prison. And that's what micromanaging the imports and export, or sorry, the imports into our prison, that's what it gets you. Gets you less contraband, less issues. We've just searched every prison cell, so we know there's no escape tunnels. You know, these are the kind of things, guys, that, uh, or at least there was no escape tunnels, I should say. It doesn't necessarily mean there aren't any now, but there weren't any when we started.
All right, get those last places searched, guys. Come on. Now, let's see. We've completed everything here. And you know the reason why I don't expand the borders. It's because it causes the game to lag a lot more when it saves, when it auto-saves, when you load it. Um, it's just more surface area for the game to have to render, and the game already suffers enough when you're over 500 prisoners. I don't feel like doing that. What is this guy even doing in here? But can someone please take care of him? Because he's going to get friggin' rowdy. That's one of the issues that happens, guys, when you start getting up to this level. One hundred guards. There we go. Is that uh, you don't have enough guards? You just don't. Now remember, we got six in each one of these things here. Each canteen has six, I believe. Yeah. The yard's got three, and then I put four. I reduce the number of guards in each one of these because there's not as much stuff going on up here as there is in the other ones. Uh, you can see guard patrols. I've got a dog and an armed guard in each one of these areas. The dog, you know, sniffs the odd prisoner. The armed guard keeps them in order. Each of the canteen is patrolled by three dogs. Those are uh, there to sniff out any drugs, contraband that may have snuck through. These areas here have these armed guards for suppression because this hallway here is my biggest... This little cubicle of, of hallways is my biggest issue for violence. And then, protective custody, these guys get nothing but armed guards, protect, uh, shotgun carrying guys, to keep them suppressed. At all times. Remember, these guys are locked in their cells all day long. They do not get to leave. If they break out of their cells, I want them put down by an armed guard. Supermax, I don't feel I have to do that just yet. Um, it may get to the point where I remove the shotgun guys from the rest of the prison and just fill Supermax with suppression armed guards. But we don't want everybody suppressed. Suppressed, when they're suppressed, they don't feel the need to do reform programs. I am trying to get them to do reform programs. Um, that is something, if you guys didn't know that, that is how that works. If they are suppressed, they will not actively participate in reform. You'll see that here in a second. Let's look at this guy's experience. He's been suppressed 90% of the time he's been here. Uh, he has been, he's been here for 74 days. That's a serious amount of time the guy's been here. But he's been suppressed half of that time. You gotta remember that he was probably mostly suppressed because of the fact that uh, guys in Supermax do not get to go. They didn't before. They didn't get a work program until last episode. God damn it! More lights in the walls. <sighs> Interversion. You got to be able to make it so these things just automatically vanish. Because they're gonna stay there now, and that's gonna stay in the jobs section. Forever and ever and ever and ever. Look. Move light to storage. No, no route. Move light to storage. No route. It just adds to the lag. I don't understand why this this list, this jobs list, even exists. Nothing on here really tells me anything. I mean, it does tell me that there are lights stuck in a wall, but I already knew that. And this is stuff that these guys can't actually con complete right now. Do I need to see this? No. I don't need to see this. Not at all. to watch them when I clone the next set that I don't do that same problem. I don't need another light in the wall. Good. No lights in the walls this time. I mean, there are lights in the walls, but they're in spots the guards can actually get to.
And I'll install a shower right here. Okay. Install some drains. You guys are dumb. Who died? Another person died. Who died? <clears throat> Shotgun guys. Why is he dead? Oh, look, and he was a god damn it. He was actually a decent person at some point in his career in my prison. He completed the safety hygiene program before he murdered somebody. Well, Guess what? A spot just freed up in Supermax. So, is there anybody in here who's a multiple murderer? I know there's one guy in Supermax who's a multiple murderer. How the hell am I going to find him, though? There's no way I can find him. I'm going to have to do a manual search of every prisoner in Supermax to find that guy. Crap. Sack of crap. That's not fun. Look how dirty they made this freaking shower. What the hell's wrong with you guys? That's the disgustingness. Gross. Effing gross. Okay. Uniforms is a different story. I'll let some contraband get in because I'll just find it with the uh, CIs. Any more food coming in? Let's do a quick search. I don't want to have to waste my time. Keep asking these guys to search it. It's much easier if they just do it right now. Oh yeah, the metal detectors. I forgot about those, didn't I? It's gonna be hard for that to happen. Okay, another dog there. We'll hire another dog handler just to deal with that. Because, as you can see, the kennel is a joke. There's always another half dozen guys in here. I think the shakedown can end. Um, we've searched everything there is to search. Anything left is just not going to be searchable. <clears throat> Okay, pause, regime, shower time can be over now.
I like to try to give these super max or these maximum security guys a little extra free time. Helps keep them a little less, uh, you know, ridiculous. Just a little bit less ridiculous. It's not this. It, this isn't easy to balance everyone. Everyone needs something different. Everyone needs a little more free time. Da 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 da. -da. Crap. I can't do it that way. Cannot do it that way. I gotta make sure they do the, the first hole first. Or else they may block themselves in and not be able to do the rest of it. I hate the way these guys work. They're the dumbest people alive. Thick like cement. I tell you, it's a frustration. 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 You know what? One of the issues I'm having with is guards not being able to make it between these these areas here. I want if I delete this whole middle row of cells, that might allow the guards to be able to get back and forth across this prison a little faster. <clears throat> I'll do it at a later date if I decide to do it. No point in doing it right now. I'll see how things go. I do have ten guards stationed in there. We'll see how that goes. Oh, look here. Look who's here. The newest batch of fish. That's what I didn't want to have happen, is them search the boxes, but it's just a little easier now that they're all here. We've had two janitors murdered, apparently. I didn't realize that. Get in there, guys. Deal with it. Shot in the face. How do you feel? Pretty bad, I bet. Oh my god, what's going on? Everything's going to hell. Oh no, you don't. Oh freaking no, you don't. Get him. All guards, get him. Two deaths. Never gonna get that grant. Five deaths. Twelve freaking deaths. How many guards? I only lost one guard. I think. I had 33 dog handlers. And I had the same number of armed guards. So I lost one of these. And one of these. Damn it. And there's a there's at least a few murderers who are going into uh, Supermax in this group. Oh, God. You're going to Supermax? Anybody who's involved in this is going to Supermax. This riot? Who's not in Supermax? You're dead? Oh, I did say everyone's going to Supermax, didn't I? You were involved in a riot. You're obviously dangerous. This 
Somebody in this group's a freaking mass murderer, though. I need to find him. Him. You're going to protective custody because I have a free spot in protective custody, don't I? Yep. Somebody else in here is a real badass, too. You. And you. What a bunch of jerks. I'm not even sure which one of these guys are dead, which one of these guys are alive. I'm just clicking on them and sending them to Supermax. It's the only way I can really make sure they all make it there. Well, that's unfortunate, guys. I just had myself a nice little riot here. Oh, this guy is going to go to Supermax. You're a multi-murderer. And as are you. You're already in Supermax. You're dead, so it doesn't really matter about you any longer. I need a few more guards in this hallway. This cop's going to get killed. Oh, he got them all. What a badass! Fourteen. Is there there's some shit going on somewhere else that I'm not seeing here? Well, we're gonna end up on uh, we're gonna end up on probation or whatever it is where they. Uh, where the, the, the warden calls us and tells us, hey, that's too many deaths. If it happens again, you're going to jail. Yeah. Welcome to Supermax. I have all these new cells. I might as well put people in them. Right? No point in not using all the cells I have. So that brings us up to 111 Supermax guys now. Did that say I have 200? I don't have a Supermax capacity wing. Ah, oh, God, it fell off again. Stop doing that, please. I don't know why it keeps doing that, but it keeps doing it. Wow, that was messy. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to call that right here. We did a full prison search. Like I said, I wanted to do, and uh, oh, we had a bit of a riot and some messy, messy blood all over our prison. A lot of guys going to Supermax, a lot of guys dead, 14 in total died today, that's unfortunate. Nah, you're okay. Messy, messy situation in this place, guys. Messy situation. Alrighty. Make sure you leave those likes. Comment. I do read all the comments. Subscribe for more awesomeness. You know, if you'd like to see me do some other stuff, tell me that too. I, uh, I always take uh, requests. Eh? I don't know. What is going on in here? What is... Safety, yeah. Well, no kidding, safety's not so good. What do you expect? A riot just happened. Just calm down. It'll be better.
And I'll see you all in the next episode of Evan Better Presents Alpha 27 of Prison Architect. Thanks, guys.